Hi, today I'm going to share with you some pictures of an antique cape that recently sold in Hollis, New Hampshire for a little over $530,000. It was built in 1750 and has very classic cape style, as well as some really cool and well done additions to that house. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then stay tuned. Hi, I'm Jen Baer, the Waltzing Real Estate Agent in New Hampshire with eXp Realty. On this channel, I focus on all things New Hampshire, where to eat, where to stay, where to live, where to play, uh, with a focus on real estate and history, and maybe a little ballroom dancing as well. And today is gonna be all about the old homes of New Hampshire, one of my favorite topics. If you're interested in touring the antique homes that are currently for sale in our state, and for every weekend there are a number of them, we are blessed with history in this part of the country. Uh, check out the link below. I will I put together a customized search of any homes that were built prior to 1900 that are currently for sale. Uh, and going to an open house at an antique home or an old home here in New Hampshire is one of my favorite pastimes. <laughs> All right, well, let's get started. So here is uh, the home I was talking about earlier that we're gonna focus on today. Uh, it is extremely ex classical Cape Cod style. So Cape is short for Cape Cod architectural style. And it's mainly this part of the house here with the front door and the center chimney and the symmetrical windows on either side that's only like one and a half stories tall. This was the original part of the house built in 1750. On the left here is an addition where they added on the kitchen. That is one of the more um, common additions that you'll see added onto these capes was a kitchen because the original house just had you know two rooms downstairs on either side of the stairway, as well as just two bedrooms upstairs. So the kitchen was kind of an afterthought sometimes. So there we go, they added on. And then added on to that is uh, a main floor bedroom. So we'll go be able to see that. Uh, and then it also has this detached garage, which is also uh, been updated. As you can see, it's in the historic part of Hollis. There's a, uh, looks like some kind of other historic building there in the background. And another good thing about these older homes too, is that you're gonna have established perennials and landscaping that are all throughout the property. Uh, and then usually they're, they've been landscaped for so many years that it's very clearly defined. And I love when I moved into my old home, seeing what flowers were going to pop up. And a lot of them were heirloom, uh, been here for many generations. They have nice hardscaping here. This is the backyard. This property borders farmland. Uh, so you have nice views. It wasn't much land being that it's in, you know, the historic district, uh, but Having the farmland outside is nice, but make sure that if you are going to purchase a house and you are relying on the neighbor's view staying the same, uh, you can have your real estate agent kind of take a look and see what the probabilities of that property remaining what it is currently, or if it looks like it's going to be changing, or if there's ever any kind of regulations or laws on those keeping it as conservation land or something like that. This is that other hardscaped area here that's really nice. Now we're looking from the backyard to the house and we can see that there's also an additional sunroom that was added on the back here, but we can see the original cape. It did not originally have these dormers. That is something else that has also been added on over time on um, one of the more common additions in order to you know, give it a little bit more light and height in those rooms. And this is that detached garage that we'll be taking a look at at the end. And here's another look at the back of the house with that sunroom addition. And there's the sunroom. Really nice. I like how they, you know, included the, the skylight. It kind of mimics the dormers throughout the rest of the house. And there's another view of that sunroom. And then this is the kitchen. So again, this is an addition to the house. And they kind of brought in the, the beams sometimes. And this almost looks like antique beams if they, um, depends on when they built this addition. Or sometimes they use old um, beams from an old barn um, or from another structure that was on the property and they'll reuse it in um, their design. But I really like how they did this kitchen. Uh, there's a little bar here where you can um, do, you know, eat there or you can eat at the island. Nice big fridge, chandelier, really looks nice, kind of fits with the rest of the house. And that's what I consider to be a great upgrade in these antique homes or the ones that match the rest of the house uh, as well as being upgraded. So here's one of the downstairs rooms with that fireplace that they're still using for heat. You can see the beams. So this would be original. So as you can see, the kitchen definitely was similar style. And this is another view from the other side of the room. 
So it goes front to back. And you can kind of take a look here at these stairs. They are very steep. And that was um, another feature that is common. Uh, the steep stairs were in order to save floor space because you didn't have a lot of floor space. These houses were kept small on purpose in order to keep them easier to heat in the winter. And there we are on the other side, on the other living room area now. Uh, you can see the fireplace. So this is on the other side. So that's another downstairs room. And this is that main floor bedroom. So you not you're this is this room has the feeling of height because they want you know obviously you have, the rest of the house is a little bit lower ceilings. This actually gives you that um, big open feeling, but they kept that dormer look so it matches the rest of the house. I love this little nook where they have a a desk, but I can also see like a little makeup chair could go there. Um, and so it has a step down into that room again, giving it more height. Now we're upstairs. So upstairs, you can see the slanted ceilings that were common. This window over here in the dormer was an additional. The original room just had uh, windows on either side because they would go the length of the house or the width of the house. And there's another the bedroom, same thing. This dormer over here was added in the original window. So just two bedrooms originally upstairs. Uh, this is just the garage outside. I don't believe it was an older building, but I love how they created a mud room and even a bathroom and even a kitchen type area right off the backyard. So that's in that um, barn. I believe this is also upstairs in that barn. They called it a kind of a bunkhouse. So it'd be a great place to, to have guests. And this is the only part of the house that wasn't really updated, but I just love looking again at the old beams. You're going to want to have um, an inspector make sure or maybe not even with part of the sale, but even if you have an older house, have a pest um, control come out often enough to make sure that you're not having any ants or termite damage. Uh, but this is where they have their laundry. So I can see this being uh, maybe the next step of upgrading in this house. Um, but it looks like a really, it's the floor has been um, cemented and then they've whitewashed the original foundation wall. So again, you can kind of tell how well a house has been loved and maintained and upkept by its basement. You know, that's its foundation. And I think that concludes our tour of this cape. Again, it was built in 1750. I don't know when the uh, additions were added onto it, but I would look forward to finding other capes of the same era that recently sell um, so that I can go ahead and show you those and compare them as well. Let's go back to the beginning so we can see the front of this house. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video and learned something new about New, he new England and New Hampshire architecture and Cape Cod style homes. Uh, that was not my listing. I'll have credit down below to the uh, listing agent who sold that home. It sold just in June, 2021. If you'd like to see more videos similar to this, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. That way you'll know as soon as I post. I hope everybody has a wonderful week. Hustle on my friends and I'll see you next time. I uh, believe this is the bathroom. And today I am going to show, uh, I already said that.